Hello, this is Eric and Al Baus. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect LED strips to a computer through its header. So the main thing you need to do is make sure you have, you have 12 volts, your strips, that your header and your motherboard is 12 volts. If you have four pins, for instance, that your motherboard is four pins. These have to match up or else it will not work. Or you might damage it if you're running a 5 volt, like a USB one, into a 12 volt header. So what I'm actually doing is I got some connectors. And if you look at my review of Govi, you'll actually see, I have a link in the description of this video, which Govi strips I have connected. In fact, you'll also see the connectors I use because I have that link inside. The description and the description is where I have many different things and many different reviews. Govi strips. Right here, we have the Genie Prisma. And right here, we have a Govi RGBIC strip. And right here are two Govi strips I have not reviewed and have been sitting here in boxes. I have only 575 subscribers at this time. And honestly, I made over 100 videos and I deleted some of the old ones. Honestly, my subscriber count is 0.9% out of viewers. So please consider subscribing to this channel. Help me out and I'll help you out. So what I did here is I connected this to a four pin connector like it is and then I have four pins because there's four pins on the motherboard so I got four male, four, four, sorry, four female pins. Female means they're actually open ends and those connect inside the pins on the motherboard so I simply slide it into the pins so the pins would be this kind of idea on the board itself and yes it does work. So let's watch this. Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios. I'm going to be connecting these LED strips, which are actually Govi LED RGB strips that I reviewed that connect normally to wall power. Connecting that to this computer, which this is a Gigabyte B450 Aorus motherboard. So this is an ITX particular one. And I got these four pin connectors. And I'm going to have a review in the description of these particular strips in the description of this video. So if you want to see the review and what strips these are, Go to the description of this video, then you'll see the Govi strips. You can receive a review of them and this is something you'd want. Now this you can only not only connect in your home, but we can connect to our computer. So this is particular 12 volts and the connection here is 12 volts. You always have to have matched voltage. Remember that. And this particular one is 4 pin. So 4 pin right here. I'm going to get closer here so we can focus on that. So, let's get up close and personal. So now I'm going to connect this. If I connect the polarity wrong, it just simply won't turn on. If I have it right, it will turn on. And polarity, what I mean by polarity is that the voltage on the right side. And this is very hard to connect in here because I have such a small spot. Because these pins are right between the RAM and the N.2 on this particular board. So they're not turning on right now. So that means the polarity is probably wrong. So now what I'm going to do is flip 180. And now try again. And of course, if I don't have the pins aligned perfectly in here, it's not going to turn on. So I have to make sure those pins are connected. Now they're connected. And we have RGB lighting happening. So this is actually connected to the motherboard header. So yes, you can connect an RGB light strip to your computer. As long as your voltage is matching and your number of pins on your strip match with the pins on there, it can work. I actually looked at the manual to verify it's 12 volts first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the manual here in a minute and showed you how I connect this after here in a moment. So now I'm gonna connect, click the different colors. Right now I have a color cycling. So I'm gonna click white. If this particular strip doesn't show fully white, it shows a little off white and green. Oh, wait, I'm going to go to static mode, sorry. Okay, white. This is a bit bluish. Red. Green. Blue. I'm going to connect. Click. Uh, light blue. Pink. Yellow. And orange. So I'll go back to color cycle. I can go to static mode. I can go to pulse. Flash mode. Double flash. So the motherboard software actually can control what it's doing. I can change my color while it's double flashing. 
I can go to flash mode and change my colors. So green, blue, light blue, pink, yellow, orange, and white. This particular motherboard has software through the BIOS. I believe you can get the software for Windows as well. Now, how did I connect this? Well, let me show you how. I'm going to disconnect this now and unstick the strips from the side of the case because this was very hard to do without sticking it. So what I want to do is dim the light a bit. I think I'll do that so I can actually do this correctly. So I use these four pin connectors that's connected to this four pin. I didn't need the other part of this four pin connection that I wired it off with. I just wanted more room to work with. So I just put that in the four pins on the board itself and guess what? It works. So in my particular one, it's RGB Fusion. And then I literally choose the cut about what cycle I want, the color I want all across here. And that was what I was doing. Now to the manual. So the motherboard I'm using here is a computer I built my sister, a Gigabyte B450i, meaning ITX, or it's Pro Wi-Fi. So I looked through the manual. I needed that to find out if I had the right voltage. So no matter what your motherboard is, you can do the same idea. So you'll be looking on your motherboard where the connections are. So it says LED CPU. And I was like, is this the right one? It's not in the same location, mind you, as it shows in the picture here. But it gave me an idea of what it was. Because on the motherboard, it does say LED CPU beside the connection. It's four pin. Seems promising. But I need to find out how many volts it was. Because I have a Monster Basics that's five volts. And I know CPUs are 12 volts. So right here, this is a three pin. So this one's the right one yet. But it went a little further. LED CPU, exactly what I'm looking for. 12 volts. I have a Govi strip that was this voltage, and that's perfect. So maximum power is 2 amps times 12 volts equals 24 watts maximum power. So it tells you a maximum length of 2 meters, which I believe is 6.54 feet maximum length. So there we go. We can connect this LED strip, in this particular case, to the computer. Oh, by the way, did you notice there was 5 volt 3 pin? I wonder if I have a 5 volt 3 pin like right there that says homemade on that sign that does all this funky neat stuff and one of the ones that I didn't review yet actually two of these I did not review yet I can do that and have more power than that has so extreme brightness so if you want to see more and well help me out and I'll help you out. Honestly, is that freaking awesome? I think so. So thank you again for watching. Hope you learned something. And have yourselves a most wonderful day. If you want to see these connected, don't forget to subscribe. And then ask me to connect this to PC. Until next time, have a good one. This is not BIOS. Tech and hardware. And white. And cycle color. And voila.